was alert while you were sleeping. Two Secret Service agents, including a top member of the president's detail, now under investigation for drinking and driving. They allegedly crashed a government car into a White House barricade after a night of partying. But this is just the latest in a pattern of bad behavior for the agency. Are they doing enough to investigate it, you ask, and what kind of charges may they face? David Bruno is a criminal trial attorney and former prosecutor, and Heather Hansen is a trial attorney herself. They join us now for a fair and balanced debate on this. I mean, we're talking not somebody new here. These are two senior Secret Service agents here. One, Given the title of, of working on the president's detail, what should happen here, David? Sure, well, there's going to be an internal investigation. I mean, these agencies are set up to investigate crimes of officers and agents within their units. Okay, now, a decision has been made to send it out for, for a particular reason. And right now, it could be because there's a senior level uh, agent involved. Or I think that maybe it could be another agent or maybe an official misconduct or something involving a cover-up. There could be many reasons why it's sent out, but generally speaking, it could be, um, it, it may be just because of the senior level officials. Explain to everyone what, what you mean by sending it out. Yeah, well, there's a professional responsibility unit that can investigate the agents. Um, in this case, it was sent to the Department of Homeland Security, Inspector General, mm -hmm. for an objective, transparent Got investigation it. outside the agency. What are your thoughts on this, Heather? Well, the Inspector General who's looking into this is John Roth, and he's new to the job since August because the person before him had some questions about him. Listen, it is layer upon layer of problems here. We know that back a couple months ago, the Department of Homeland Security actually recommended that someone from outside of the agency, the Secret Service agency, come in and take over because there were so many issues. Instead, President Obama chose to go with Clancy, who was someone inside the agency. And here, once again, you see an issue where there's going to be a lot of questions about professional courtesies that were extended to these officers. They weren't arrested right away. Instead, they were let go. They weren't put on administrative leave. Instead, they chose to, I think, leave on their own. So there's going to be a lot of issues with regard to the way that this was handled, especially in light of all the other problems that we've seen with the Secret Service. Out of control, you say? It seems to be that way. And when Clancy came on, the president felt very confident in him. He did it over very strong, very strong recommendations by the Department of Homeland Security, who said that they needed someone from outside of the agency to change leadership here. The fact that he did this and now you've got yet another problem is not going to reflect very well. You know, is this just a sort of a reaction to the president and the administration at times throwing the Secret Service under the bus? I mean, this has happened before. Sure. Is I mean, this a the... systematic, is this something symptomatic of something else? Well, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go that far at this point. Let's see what the investigation shows. I mean, let's not jump out in front of it. Let's see what the facts show. Let's say if let's see if there are any other officials that have given this professional courtesy and, and let's wait and see. I think. Okay, great. David Bruno and Heather Hansen, we thank you for this debate Thanks, on that. Hansen. That's a huge story.